On December 20th, 2022, Rich and I were down investigating in an area that he calls the pit down in Hocking Hills. What we found was very disturbing. We found a deer kill unlike anything we had ever seen before. That's the dog man track, right here. Look at that, how wide, his toes went down in. It was a vicious attack of some kind on that, on that deer. And that wasn't coyotes, because if it was coyotes, see they, if it was coyotes, no, I said, if you see coyotes, this whole area would be all matted down from dogs. You know what I mean? There'd be hundreds of dog prints around here, or coyote tracks. It ate that entire deer and left the innards. It ate the whole entire deer. Bones and all. There's no bones except for that one piece of spine right there. I heard a, something like a, a rustling, a big, something walking, and uh, up there where those trees are, going across there to the creek, just on the other side of that, I heard, um, you know, the, 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 the real quick, and then a, a rustling, and that's why I stopped. Maybe whatever got that deer is in front of us. I don't know, so we'll see, uh, we'll see. I first uh, get went out and uh, got a picture of uh, a dog man uh, about five years ago. And uh, I don't know where it came from. It was just there in the forest. They were looking at me, I was looking at it. It, it, it didn't growl at me, it just showed me his teeth and. And he took, raised his head up and sniffing, and, and he just took off. And uh, and then when I went back to the cabin, uh, this thing followed me home. <laughs> and uh, it has clawed both of my trees, took a frontal bite out of one of my trees, uh, peed on the cabin all around it, uh, jumped on the roof, and uh, well, it took a frontal bite out of one of my other trees, right through the bark, right in the white meat of the tree. And to me, uh, being a male species at the time, being out here alone, uh, the only thing I was thinking of was like, a, he's either calling me out or he's saying, get out. Usually they come out, uh, usually the colder it is, the better they like it uh, for some reason, uh, January, February. And then uh, they kick things up probably about around the end of the summer again, they come back. And, uh, but this is uh, really rare because like today, uh, they were here today. Uh, fresh tracks today uh, of a dog man. This area right here, I came in here one day, one time, and I found three deer hides. I just, this like it just ripped right off the deer, not cut, and they peeled it off. The whole carcass, the whole, like a, like a dress. It, one there, one land there, and one land long ways right here, and blood all over the area. If you're out in the woods and you run across, uh, say, uh, the dog man, uh, same thing as a Bigfoot. When you see it, it'll stop, you stop. Uh, that's where the line is. and. Uh, my suggestion to somebody who sees it, uh, try not to show no fear or pheromone out. Let it out. Or, uh, because that's, I think that's what he did to me. Because when I first saw it, he showed me his teeth. He didn't growl. He showed me his teeth and he, he was sniffing the air. I, I think he was uh, uh, wanting to smell uh, fear pheromone uh, to attack. Uh, but I, I, I don't show fear out there. And, uh, and it just uh, takes off. As so I said, for people who see it, uh, just stay vigilant. Just uh, don't act any, uh, don't run or don't, you know, yell or holler or anything. Just, you know, you see him, he sees you. And uh, take it from there. Uh, if he does come attack, I, I don't know what to tell you on that one. Yeah. Thank you for watching this video, and we appreciate your support. Stay tuned for our full-length documentary, 
exposing the strange Ohio cryptids coming out in the spring of this year.